it's Miss Sammy with Riverside County Regional Park and Open Space District. Thank you for joining me on another day of I Love My Watershed Week. We've had a lot of fun so far, and the fun hasn't stopped yet. Today, I'm going to be reading a story about a little raindrop. And this little tiny raindrop goes on in a magnificent adventure. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story, The Little Raindrop by Joanne Gray. One dark and stormy day, a little raindrop fell out of a cloud and flew faster and faster through the sky. There's the little raindrop. And it's falling faster and faster. A gust of wind blew the raindrop sideways and in a dazzling flash of red, orange, and yellow, he found himself inside a rainbow. Enjoying the beautiful colors, little raindrop fell through green, blue, indigo, and violet before another gust of wind blew him out of the rainbow. There he is leaving the rainbow. Oh, it looks like he splashed down somewhere. Splash! The little raindrop landed in a shallow puddle on top of a large rock. Here he is. Splish, splash! Lots of other raindrops fell all around him until the puddle was overflowing. Little Raindrop ran down the side of the rock and he joined a stream. So now he's in a stream with other raindrops. In the stream, Little Raindrop drifted through woods, bounced over pebbles. He played with small shimmering fish and he watched them dart around as deer and rabbits came to drink at the water's edge. Wow, the little raindrop has made a lot of friends on his journey. Look at that. Sometimes laughing children would race sticks in the water and little raindrop would chase them under the bridges, dodging the swirling grass and fluttering leaves. After a while, the stream joined a river and little raindrop floated along in the strong current. At times, the river was calm and peaceful and the little raindrop watched diving kingfishers and large fish as they swam slowly by. Ooh, there's the kingfisher bird trying to get the fish. At other times, the river was noisy and rough and the little raindrop raced along rapids and dived down waterfalls, carefully avoiding the jagged rocks at the bottom of the falls. It looks like there's some bears hiding over there. Wow, what a crazy journey our little raindrop has been on. Quite the adventurer. Eventually, the river reached the sea, and the little raindrop was pulled far away from shore. Ooh, what kind of animals are those? Hmm, let's find out. He met friendly dolphins who played and danced in the sunlight and listened as they whistled and clicked their greetings to each other. One day, the tide pulled Little Raindrop back to the beach. He surfed the waves and crashed onto the shore until he finally came to rest on soft sand. There he is. The sun shone down on the sand and the little raindrop got hotter and hotter until the warmth of the sun drew him up into the air. It was cooler in the sky and the little raindrop joined a cloud that was already full of other raindrops. So clouds are made out of many little raindrops. And little raindrop 
was ready to fall to earth and begin his journey once more. And that is the end of the little raindrop. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'm Sammy with Riverside County Regional Park and Open Space District. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow for more I Love My Watershed fun. See you later.